So let's talk more secondary storage and you should have probably seen the video if you haven't already about the different types of secondary storage but this video is going to focus on what characteristics we need to consider which makes them suitable for different sort of scenarios because when you pick a secondary storage for a particular use for a particular scenario it kind of all depends on a few different things first one we're going to look at is cost okay I mean I don't really actually need to say much more about that how expensive it is is important to me if it's appropriate for a particular scenario the next thing is capacity so that's how much data it can hold how many ones and zeros that you can fit on it and if you only need to store a few pictures that is a very different scenario than having to uh, store a lot of high definition video for example so that's something we need to consider speed is another factor and when we're talking about speed we are talking about how fast you can access data not how fast you can throw it across the room or how fast it spins around inside how quickly you can get to the data access the data which is on the device and that can be important again depending on the application we'll talk about a few examples of that as we go go along uh, next one uh, portability so can I pick up that device easily and move it somewhere else that is what portability is all about it's not necessarily because is it possible can I do it easily durability I like to think of this one as quite simply what happens if I drop it will it still work? Because that is kind of important for a few different scenarios. That's all covered under the word robustness, but it's really like, can I drop it? And still, will it still work if I do? Last one, reliability. So this is more like if I leave it on a shelf for a long uh, period of time, will it still work? That's what we're looking for. And these words are, are important, okay? So if you remember these words, these are the words we need to use to describe uh, different types of secondary storage. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.